Problem number 28, we are asked to graph the function f of x equals x minus 1. So first draw a coordinate graph, xy coordinate graph. Then we want to draw a table with three columns. The first column containing the heading of x. And inside the second column, our header is going to be x minus 1 equals f of x. And remember, f of x is, is just another name for y. And our third column is going to contain the ordered pairs, x comma y. So we're going to be given the input, which is the x. We're going to find out what the output is, which is the y. And then we're going to create an ordered pair, which will tell us the location uh, for a point on the coordinate plane that represents that relationship. All right, so here we go. If I give the value of x negative, if I give x the value of negative 2, then I'm going to substitute, substitute that in for the expression. So I have negative 2 minus 1, which if I, add, if I um, combine those two, I get negative 3. So my y value, or my output, is negative 3. My ordered pair then is negative 2, comma, negative 3. Let's find that on the coordinate plane. So I'm going to go two units to the left, one, two, and three units down, one, two, three. And I draw my first point, okay? Negative one. Substitute uh, negative one in for x. I have negative one minus one. Combine those two, and I get negative two. So my ordered pair then is going to consist of negative one, comma, minus two. So let's find that point. So negative 1, 1 unit to the left, 2 units down, draw a point. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go with 0. So substitute 0 in for x. 0 minus 1 results in negative 1. So my ordered pair here is 0, comma, negative 1. 0, negative 1 is right here. Let's do two more. If I go 1, substitute 1 in. For x, 1 minus 1 results in 0. So we have 1 comma 0. And my final is going to be 2. So my input is 2. And I substitute that in for x. 2 minus 1 results in 1. Create an ordered pair. So this becomes 2 comma 1. And now I find that on the plane. And I go to the left 2 and up 1. Oh, I forgot to do this. 1 comma 0 right there. There we go. So I got both of them. All right, now with these ordered pairs, now I can go ahead and draw a line. Now, there's, we are not limited by just these numbers, however. There's an infinite number of numbers that we could have put in for x. So this is actually a continuous line. It's a continuous graph. And we'll go ahead and put arrows on those to indicate that it goes on forever in that direction. 